by the way, I'm Samson Lancaster, and this is Strength in Gaming. Hey. Today, I'm joined with Salvador Purple Hair Madrigal. Fierce. You're fierce. Fierce. Your, your little stickers on fleek. Uh, and Cat McGuire. Silver haired Cat McGuire. Silver haired Cat McGuire. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I thought maybe it was the lighting. I didn't realize. <laughs> the, it looks good. And that's a good point that I made because she was worried that it wouldn't look good for uh, work. And I said, people no, are barely going to notice. Fine. It looks awesome. I didn't know your hair was actually silver. I literally thought it was like your lighting was off. Yeah, no, no. I wouldn't. It's, I, or it's I actually silver. <laughs> Sweet. And back again, special guest host, Subly, Subliminality, is with us today. How are you doing? Doing wonderful. How are you? All right. I'm all right, I'm all right now after the weed and the whiskey. There you go. Um. So today we have a fun episode. We will be talking about strong female characters in video games because one, it's you know Women's uh, month, uh, month and it's we just haven't in a really long time. I think we did uh, strong female role models or female role models like was it like three years ago? We just haven't we haven't had a topic like this in a while, and I felt that it was time. So, but first we're going to do some of the news so sal what do we got in the news today so there's a rumor going around that sony's about to release the playstation slam i think it's gonna probably come out holiday season this year maybe hopefully hopefully. i don't really care <laughs> you don't really five. care <laughs> it's a slam what am i gonna play it? my old stuff on it is is that no. supposed to be better than um the original model or just less space? It's less space. Normally when they go slim, they just Take all the extra bulk. Yeah, they just make it small. <laughs> no, they they usually put a bigger hard drive when they go slim. Oh, probably a solid state then because all that tiny. all the extra packaging and everything that that the current one has is probably gonna be maybe twenty, twenty five percent smaller. Mm. But it's uh, still the same storage space. So that's pretty and... quick. Yeah, did, normally, yeah. It's, it's did this come storage. out? Did this come out pretty quick after the uh, PS5? Or is, is this? I don't even know when. I mean, when they, PS5 they released the way they they've been working the consoles now. All the companies is you know they release the pro version and then a couple weeks later here's the super pro version, the Revenge <laughs> too. <laughs> the Revenge. And um. Pro version, the Revenge. I, I, it's fine, right? It, it's the new console, and it's hard to get the current one. So why not offer the the slim? Maybe it'll yeah. You know why yeah. it could screw up all the bullshit fucking uh, scalpers if they start yeah. releasing the slim one. They might. All, they're probably going to buy those too because yeah, people are going to want the slim. Uh, no, also. The, the whole reason they're the whole reason scalpers are the way they are right now is because of COVID. We're not allowed to go to the stores and just wait in line yeah. to pick up consoles. So. Everything's yeah, online, yeah. so that's why they're able to buy stock from stores. It's because everything's online. If if if, if we didn't have COVID, we it, people would be would have PlayStation fives in their homes and the new Xboxes and video cards for that matter. Yeah, and just because of COVID, it just made everything a lot worse. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it's artificial scarcity, which is bullshit, and plus. Apple and Samsung, they're hoarding all their their microchips, so they're just buying stock and not really releasing it. Mm -hmm. So less video cards, less chips for consoles. Sucks. Yeah. So that's driving it up too, then I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, once we're out of this, it's it, everything's gonna go back to normal, and hopefully, all the scalpers have a ton of stock and they go under. And yeah, have lost their and, homes. Yes, and lose their homes, wind up in the streets, so looking <laughs> dick for for a sandwich. A sandwich. Yeah. It's like a shitty tuna sandwich. Not, not a even, tuna melt, because not that's, even that's, a tuna that's melt. That's, that's yeah, that's, that's much better. Tuna melt's one of my favorites. That's for like racists, you know, right? They're not what? even allowed to. You know how you you want to feed your enemy that. I, I'm very lost now, Sal. So I'm a little I stoned, to, so I, I don't know where you're. Like tuna melts and you're you trying to you're trying to get me to do like, like I was fucking, like, I don't, 
I don't understand how philosophical are racist philosophical conversations here, and I'm fucking high as shit. So, I dude, I didn't even see you smoke. You must have hit a bowl or two before we started. Dude, <laughs> he's the call me. I better catch up. Weed ninja. Uh, I I I'm glad I wasn't the only one who was lost there. I was just like, you know, oh, I'm just totally gonna lost. let it go. <laughs> I was totally <laughs> lost. I, so yeah, I'm hopefully, sorry. when somebody says that something's racist, and it's and I'm just. I, yeah, I didn't get it. I was like, point is, scalpers need to fucking lose their homes. Get the yes, we, we agree. I think we agree. Wind up on, on the streets. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's too crack. extreme for some people. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Scalp, scalping. So is the slim. Hopefully, cool. the slim comes out and maybe it'll. Well, the, the controls are still going to suck. So I get ready to buy a control in 300 hours of playing with it. <laughs> So fucking stupid. didn't this happen before with PlayStation? I feel like they've had the no. same issue with their controllers. No, they've they've never had issues with controls. I've I've have I have a lot of failed PlayStation controllers um from three and four. Well the, the PlayStation 4, the batteries were shitty. So the batteries yeah, were, but I'm talking about at a point where the, the controller sticks. doesn't become usable usable? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, now the weed's kicking in. Hasn't become usable. <laughs> the thumbsticks, the thumbsticks. I I burned through a lot of thumbsticks on the, on the PlayStation. I don't burn I don't burn through thumbsticks. I just the controller stops working. Hmm. Or it drifts or something. I think I think yeah, I have a, a habit thumbstick. of playing too hard. Yeah, you play hard or go home. Yeah. Hmm. So hmm. yeah, hopefully they get sued for that and they can redo the control it sucks yeah i haven't even played 300 hours worth of games on my playstation 5 and my controller is already drifting Damn, that really sucks. yeah God. that really sucks and it, yeah. it's, it's either you use their, yeah, it's their yeah i've their played maybe 100 or... and it's already drifting that's terrible like i can't i can't stand drift in 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 any game it drives me nuts so annoying yeah, but you know what i bring nothing to the drift yeah well in my uh hdmi cable that came with it was completely shot too and it was supposed to be like the, the upgraded wow. cable mm -hmm. they gave you a broken hdmi cable yeah i had like a panic attack because i thought it was like the console that wow. was busted sony what are you doing yeah you, seriously and show. it took me like three days to get an actual replacement because i was calling sony customer support and they were like well you need to go to who you got the playstation through which was best buy and best buy was like hmm. what the fuck no this is under warranty with sony go back to them no they sent you the wow <laughs> go ask your mom no go ask <laughs> yeah what no, the fuck is up with mom. sony Ping yeah pong. it was it was bad so i had to wait for an extra hdmi cable to come that's which took like a that month sucks. I mean, I have them a, to send it. my cables here. Is it proprietary? Will it only work with? I don't know. No. You can just use any HDMI. You can use anyone, cable. but the the one that they sent, I guess it was better for the 4K. Yeah, uh, it's like HDMI, HDMI 2.1. 2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This I I I forgot that that's 4K. I really that's another reason why I want the PlayStation 5 because it would go with my uh, 4K projector, um, and then play some fucking. Uh, demon souls in 4k yeah, so. on 120 inches that would be bomb yeah <laughs> but uh yeah sony what the fuck man we've been i was gonna say we've been a uh like a, a playstation podcast for the longest time like we yeah we're we, stands we on xbox uh, yeah and the launch was chaotic of it Mac. sony took my virginity sony took sal's virginity <laughs> And now they're touching you when without consent. Yeah. That's wrong. So yeah, the, damn. Yeah, they really flubbed the console launches this year too. Was, yeah. Yeah, nobody was but on got, like, like the same page of when the console <laughs> yeah. would even launch. Like they had the PlayStation what, Live event where they showcased all the games and stuff, and they mm -hmm. said that it would go live the next day. Well, Walmart and Target, like two hours after the event ended put their pre-orders live and sold out you know within five minutes yeah and it was all scalpers yeah, yeah. that's why i said wait two years till they actually start releasing playstation 5 games 
maybe then yeah. the market will yeah, be Yeah, well, okay. that's another thing. That's another issue with um, early adoption is you, you get a lot less games uh, when it starts. No, you got Yeah, that's why I haven't played it much. A lot less games. Right, yeah. So there hasn't been really anything good to play. And that's yeah, so why they, I'm they were trying to hold out. Yeah, they were just letting you upscale all your PlayStation 4 games. To the, you got games? See, you got your yeah, whole see, library. You can bring play them over in four in four K, quote unquote. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> mind you, the the, the console yeah. itself doesn't output two K. So if you have a two K monitor that you wanted to use it on, mm -hmm. you should have luck. You you're playing at a ten eighty p upscale to to um fourteen forty. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So you have to either have four K or or nothing, right? Four K or ten eighty p. Yeah, so those are your options. You can't go in between. Yeah, they're supposedly gonna oh, release a patch sometime in the future. Probably never. Yeah, which is really weird. Why would you not support 2K? Yeah, I don't know. I will say it looks beautiful in 4K. Yeah. I did uh, Demon Souls and Miles Whoa. Morales, and I've got a 4K TV, and it, it looked pristine and Demon gorgeous. Souls. Oh, nice. When it worked, when I got the actual yeah. cable that. <laughs> How is worked. Demon Souls? It's really good. It's really good. It's very smooth in the combat, which Ooh. is nice. Oh man, what original, was the last Souls original game Demon played? Souls was the last Souls game that I played. Probably Demon Souls three, but I did a replay of it. I didn't even know there was a Demon Souls. You mean Dark Souls 3? or Dark Souls three? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's get. I'm confused. <laughs> I, yes. I, I fancy myself a Souls uh, person, a Souls tuber, uh, as I used to be the Raging Red Onion. But yeah, no, Dark uh, Souls three. Dark Souls three. Okay. Yeah. D cool. That's good. Yeah. I, like, I mean, I just want you know, I still need, I haven't even played Sekiro because I just I got it for free for the PlayStation. Yeah, it was one of their free games four. of the month, wasn't it? No, I got a free physical copy. Because oh, you got I, a free copy because I was at E three. Um, working a booth where they were giving away, where well, we were giving away a bunch of different PlayStation 4 games. That was pretty scary. He was wearing I was just shorts like... and a halter top. <laughs> no, bro. Um, I was just like, hey, can I take one of these with me? And they were like, yeah, cool. Sure. I won't say who because then I'll get in trouble. Uh, but I, haven't played it. <laughs> I haven't played it yet because because it's on PlayStation 4 and I haven't, I haven't touched my PlayStation 4 in oh, like engine. over a year. But anyways, what, we have more news. So they uh, released um, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Shredder's Revenge trailer. It looks like old school, like arcade Ninja Turtles. Pretty cool. Oh, so it, it's... What, what's it going to be on? Um, I think it's cross-buy. It's going to be on pretty much everything. Is it oh. launching to something first? or? Uh, no, there's not exclusivity on this. It's going to just go wide. Launch. I mean, so you, you would be a bit. I think it even smart. it's even on the Switch. I think that's smart because well, they're not on, tied. They're not really tied to any big company, so it's yeah. It's well, old, old school Ninja Turtle style can work on any system too. Like yeah. like you said, the Switch. It sounds like that sounds like a fun game to play on the Switch, actually. Yeah, like a four player game or something like arcade style fighting game. It looks awesome. It's like a sixteen bit. Like if you're nice. ever playing on the super, it's old school super NES. Yeah, it was like, a it was, lot of people. I will thought it was gonna be 3D. That. I thought it was gonna uh, be 3D, and on, and then they showed it, and I was like, oh shit, it's old school. <laughs> yeah, people our age will probably definitely buy it on something. Yeah, it wasn't remade like Battletoads. Do you even remember that it was released this year? <laughs> I don't remember Battletoads being remade. Yeah, it's the only the only good ones were the the old ones. In the arcade games, the new ones like hand drawn, dumb animation, woke crap. Woke crap. <laughs> Some dumb Get crap. Good. <laughs> but Shredder Revenge, Shredder's Revenge looks really good. But like I'd be playing it by myself because none of y'all bastards group. No, I don't group. Well, that's not, they, they might group. I'm the only one that doesn't group, Sal. What the fuck? Subly and Cat will probably play anything with you if you wanted. You never asked. We're playing Monster Hunter. Uh, yeah, I, lo <laughs> yeah, I, I love Monster Hunter, but... I don't have Monster Hunter, though. Oh, damn it. It's pretty good. 
Um, I don't know if I'll play anything though, but all you gotta do is ask, and I'll tell you. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah I, know. I try to get Cat to play something she won't play. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, Sony bought Evo. The the um, it's a fighting tournament, a big fighting tournament where they have mm. like King of the Fighters, uh, Mortal Kombat, and a bunch of other ones. Oh, it's a, like a, an event. Yeah, it's a. I forgot what it's called. But it's Evo. Uh, you, it's like a tournament thing where um, it's all fighting games. So Sony bought them, and hopefully they uh, they kick all the fucking pedophiles out of it. That they shut it down because a bunch of their like Evolution big, Championship Series. Yeah, a bunch of their their player base were uh, hitting up the the young kids at, at these tournaments. Dude, that's fucked up. Ooh, well, yeah, the, no, I. They they look, you know, like those ugly rap bastards that that do prey on <laughs> young kids. Is like, okay, yeah, yeah dude, that's totally. There's, I I'd understand. There's that. definitely a type, and it's one of the stereotypes <laughs> that I am one hundred and ten percent okay with promoting. <laughs> but um, or those people, you know, yeah. Ho- hopefully, Sony does a better job of um doing background checks and keeping keeping uh, yeah. closely. Was on- it? It was MTG, right? MT, the MTG. Oh yeah, yeah, Magic the Gathering. Their their um, their judges. The judges too. were convicted pedophiles. Oh. And and, and people Ooh. in the process of fucking going background checks, people. to jail for oh. pedophilia. Fuck. And they just, they did you just around the kids all the time? And uh, it was Christ. one person that, that called them out on it, and they completely shut the shut it down and just redid all the judges because it's volunteer work that all the judging they don't pay anybody so yeah just, i remember take looking whoever into that they once. can and i definitely I, I participated in in a tournament a long time ago at uh, the fairgrounds in pomona you were you were probably there so wow. yeah mm. a weed fucking blame the weed raggy but yeah hopefully they can make it a lot bigger too. It, it's it's fairly small. Like most of the people you see, they're like um, YouTube, you know, watching in a, in, in a somebody's basement with a bunch of chairs. <laughs> so this is probably uh, Sony trying to jump into the esports game. They got to do something with all that money that they're losing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we had the Square Enix presentation. Phoenix. Yeah, it was a live stream. And mostly old crap, just being remade. Yeah, <laughs> life is strange. Oh, life that's is right. strange. Yeah, that one's. I never got into those, like those narratives. I love ones. them. Like uh, Me The too. Walking Dead as yeah. well. I remember Kat talking about them. Yeah, like they had. The, they're remaking all of the Life is Strange, like remastering them. Yeah, they, they have a I new think, one. Mm-hmm. I think they're releasing a bundle or something. Or was that for? No, that was for the Lara Croft game. They're releasing uh, uh, the the three the trilogy bundle, but oh, that nice. one yeah they're re- yeah. they're re releasing the first two right, um, remastered or yeah I think it was just the enhanced. first two, yeah it's got like enhanced graphics, mm-hmm. and then they've got a new storyline. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I still haven't actually finished Life is Strange two, because. I feel like it's been so much more of a bummer than the first one. (laughs) So I haven't like been emotionally able to continue the the second game, but they're really amazing games, especially for, you know, if you like story based. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have been saying is like, oh, the the stories are great on this and uh, reading. Yeah, they're really chill games if you like kind of like a story thing. And they've they've got interesting stories to them, too. I don't know. For the most you, part. You'd, you'd probably piss off Andrew, Sam's Sam's cousin. He's like, what? I thought there was branching storylines and different endings. That's, a, that's an old Just callback X. when... Uh, well, there is choices, but... And when, it does change the outcome a little bit. Well, we're talking about last... He's talking about Last of Us and how much Andrew hated Last of Us yeah. because it was, it was a game on rails with fake choices. Um, not Not because it was, but because Sal apparently said that maybe... 
things that you do affect the story or something and, and misled. Here's the thing. I Andrew. hinted at it. I, I go, Sorry, maybe Spike. they Spike. do. Maybe they do. Yeah. But Not he took Andrew. it as a definite. Yeah. And that was his fault yeah, <laughs> for listening to fault. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking listen to Sal. He'll give you a Sal. So here's the thing about Sal. He's perfectly well-intentioned and he does know a lot of things he does really very often that he will not give you all of the information that you need or not be specific enough and end up telling you something that might put you someplace where you're not supposed to be like oh that's no no that's not what i meant well then what did you mean exactly <laughs> mind you these are for lazy bastards that don't actually want to do the research themselves and then if they don't get accurate information they're like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, it, it's it's a little it's a little bit more like um, the distinction between me having like mutton chops and me having like a full beard. Um, you know what you I mean? Like a you, full beard. I, I exactly. <laughs> See, I don't have a full beard. <laughs> anyway. I didn't say. I didn't say where. Point taken. <laughs> I did not say where. Is that all we have for the news, Sal? Um. Yeah, they announced uh, some more DLC for Marvel Avengers. <laughs> so, um, as far as more news, oh, the Xbox finally said um, what games and how they're going to function with uh, Bethesda, how the Bethesda games are going to be released, and for the most part, they're gonna they're gonna keep them exclusive. The only ones exclusive that are exclusive to Xbox. Yeah, so you can you can if you have a Xbox um, Game Pass right now, you can play twenty titles of Bethesda's um, games. Mind you, it's all games of it. the Doom series, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. You'll be you able got to Dishonored. play all the Dooms. Dishonored, yeah, those those are were really good. A little older, but it's mainly some like Fallout. The, the, oh, you can play Fallout 76 for free. <laughs> oh, oh, it's damn. still too expensive. Oh, yeah. Still too expensive. <laughs> it should be free. There's no price. It should free is too expensive. I, I, I was I was at uh, E3 the year before COVID hit, or or the year before that. I'm not sure. I was at E3 and when when that after that released and their booth, the Fallout 76 booth, was the saddest thing I'd ever seen. Nobody was in it. Oof. And E3 was crowded that year. That was easy was money for the nobody. people at the booth. Yeah, no, absolutely. Right, yeah. That's right. I, I work E3, but I don't get paid because I'm a volunteer for Extra Life. <laughs> and then E3 didn't didn't happen because of COVID last year. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, you get um, or you get the old Dooms as well. Doom One, Doom Two, Doom Sixty Four. That one was my favorite. Dude, uh, Doom 64 was with my first Doom PvP. That was my favorite Doom out of all the Dooms. Well, except for the Nero. As an I avid PvPer, it was you it get, is the best Doom. You get all the Fallout games. Prey. Prey was a good one. Cat needs all the Fallout Wait, games. Wait, my Prey? Fallout game. The Prey yeah, that Prey. I played? Yeah. So oh, if you have Game Pass, you game. get it. You get it on Game Pass. Uh, they got that was really good all game, actually. of the old uh, Fallout. I mean, not Fallout. Uh, Skyrim. Scrim, the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> so you got Morrowind, yeah. Oblivion, Scrim, plus uh, the online, the, the online game. I'm due to replay. I'm obsessed Skyrim with it right now. <laughs> there's a, there's an event happening next week, so I'm gonna be playing it for a week straight. What's there's the always event? an event, it seems. Um, almost yeah. always, yeah, because they they want to keep people interested in playing. Yeah, that's which good. I get. I, I, I've watched you play it and I still I still don't seem interested because it still feels like a cookie cutter MMO to me. I feel like it's a lot different than a lot of MMOs I've played. Yeah, I mean I've played is, a lot of MMOs and it's I, fun it's, if you have friends. It's boring as fuck if you don't. Yeah, which is actually um almost almost every MMO and and, and I'm a solo I'm a solo player. Almost every MMO is like yeah, that. Yeah, this, this one you need you need some friends to play with to get like was... all the all the good gear. Yes, but if if you liked Skyrim, if you like that style of solo playing where you go off on like these crazy side quests, it's full of that. Like you don't have to play with other people in order to do all of that stuff. But if mm -hmm. if you get to the end and you need more, then you might want to look into friends. But that will take forever. 
until you get to that point. <laughs> yeah, I was I was playing it on PlayStation Four, and and to find a group for the for the dungeons, I sat there for like two hours one time, just grinding these little um, what are they called scamps mm -hmm. for the first yeah. dungeon and little devil guys. I never, yeah, I never got any any groups going or nothing. And then I soloed yeah. most of it, and you miss a lot of like the the storyline too if you don't have a group. Because a lot yeah, of yeah, and you get bonus are, um, experience multi -step, and stuff. Multi step uh, quests that end up in a dungeon, and you're not able to to beat that content unless you have friends playing it. Yeah. And I just I got bored of not being able to do the the dungeons. Which is why I'm trying to get you guys into it, so <laughs> we don't yeah, need we don't need to find yeah. groups. If it, sorry, if it, if it ever lost. decides to go crossplay, then I've been completely lost to Eve now. Oh yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't blame you. That's your thing. Well, yeah, maybe. Are, are, I mean, is that, maybe is that <laughs> it's your thing. It's one of the things. It's it's one of the things. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's that, one of it's... your major things. <laughs> so. Yeah. Any any future Bethesda releases or from ZeniMax or uh, what is it? It Studios or any of the will come through on Xbox. It's gonna be Xbox. exclusive on Xbox. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so see, like that's Elder smart. Scrolls Six eventually. That is maybe good business at least for them. Yeah, that they they need their own titles where as they it do. is now, there's no exclusivity pretty much. The only the only thing that's gonna be exclusive to Xbox is Halo. Everything yeah, but that's all. Yeah, that forever and in all of eternity, Halo yeah, will always be yeah. Xbox and Microsoft. But yeah, everything else is you can get on any other other consoles. It's they need a lot more studios though, because Bethesda yeah, they, they got do. they got all that old stuff to lean on, but they don't really have much that's new. Like they're, they're, I think, just do. Should look at. Do they have Obsidian? They have Obsidian as well. Oh, they have Obsidian. Okay. I think. Well, no, they bought Obsidian by themselves. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's right. I wasn't sure if they had bought. They Obsidian had acquired it when. Outworld. I just remember. I just remembered that one extra life event that we were at, where Obsidian was there with a mm -hmm. booth. You were there, and um, it uh, Sal. I meant Sal was there, and um. It just reminded me of that because they did. Was it Fallout seventy six? No, they did of uh, New Vegas. New oh, Vegas, New Vegas. yes, not seventy six. Sorry, New yeah. Vegas. Fucking my brain. My game is still good. Yeah, oh yeah, that's my favorite Fallout game ever. Is yeah, New that, Vegas? I like I getting I raped by the Casadores. I don't think I ever f finished it because it was not my favorite. I still think that three is my favorite. I think three had the the mo the most robust storyline with a lot of DLC. There was yeah, I didn't even play the DLC in one. three, but I, I I definitely like Fallout. The Fallout series is one of my all time favorite IPs in general in video games. It just it's just so fucking good. I mean, I, I remember playing it back in the Interplay days, the original Fallout because I'm old, and um how how buggy it was and stuff, and it just you know seventy six is a fucking disgrace, man. Yeah, tactics was fun playing Dude, it over modem. Dude, tactics was great. I yeah, to, we like, really had to tactics. call you to play to PvP. <laughs> we, we had to, we had to blow we had you a up dog fighting a... ring in in the game. <laughs> it's terrible. It's okay in video games, but it's terrible in real life. Terrible. <clears throat> Just like but GTA, yeah, you have to you have to use your fifty six K modem. Yeah, I remember that. That was that was before really we had anything games. like cable or anything like that back when. Back when cable was for rich people and stuff. Uh, back back when cable was an internet service. Now it's just like, yeah, you have high speed internet. Like that's the term now, right? High speed internet. Before you just called it cable. That's high speed internet. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not high speed. Not not like it used to be. <sighs> and that's fast. all I got for the news. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Outriders is gonna be on Game Pass for Xbox, which is a, a looter shooter. It's pretty fun. Uh, what else? What else? And I think that's it. Like everything else is kind of me. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Oh, it's yeah. News. It's a great time to get the Game Pass, especially if you're a PC person. You get a fuck ton of games. 
especially like all the Bethesda titles now they're on PC as well. Nice. With the Game Pass. That is that is that is a good thing. Yeah, that's you don't even have to buy the console. <laughs> it's just kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. Trying to sell you a console is like yeah, my that's, PC that, that is that, that is one thing that always has been kind of silly with um, Microsoft is that anybody that has a, a decent gaming PC, why would you buy an Xbox? What is the point? There mm-hmm. is there's no point. I literally I keep an Xbone controller around to play shit like Dark Souls on my PC. Yep. Because I think they're gonna they're gonna make more if, money off a of Game Pass I than off think of I can sales. say now definitively that I like an Xbox controller better. More more I like it more than a PlayStation controller now. Yeah, I, I prefer the Xbox controls. Xbox One has been my favorite controller of all time, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's it, it's a bit it's a bit big and, and 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 almost clunky, but it's hefty enough to where it's like it feels good and, and I've I've played lots of Dark Souls on it so far and it's fine. No drifting, nothing's broken. So like I, don't know. Sony, I missed, get, get I missed the novelty of the original Xbox controller where it was like a big circle. Yeah. You just like you had to hold it like this. <laughs> or like the Dreamcast controller. Yeah. It was it was way bigger than the Dreamcast control. I never I never had the the Xbox original Xbox or the, the or the three hundred sixty. It was the big weight box. It weighed like 10 pounds. So that's all for news. We're going to, when we come back, we will be talking about strong female characters in video games. I do want to give a quick shout out. Um, I was on a show recently um, on on Twitch, Gul'dan Age Stories, and it was uh, Crossing Darkness with host frozen fallout who i am now good friends with uh into eve and um and we stream we're streaming every wednesday now basically on on my channel i'm streaming every wednesday eve playing with frozen fallout and my buddy jt and and various others um it's a good time but uh yeah check out my episode on crossing darkness um talked about eve I am not allowed to talk about Eve on this podcast, which I realize, <laughs> if, even though I make the rules, uh, I, I'm I'm not allowed to talk about Eve. Sometimes <laughs> it gets booed off stage. I get yeah, I, just, yeah, just get, I get booed off. I get Boo tomatoes thrown at me. I have to exit stage right. Um, and, uh, but yeah, uh, Frozen Fallout. He's awesome. He's been showing me the ropes in PvP in Eve. Um, I mean, I've played the game for a long time, but like I've learned so much just spinning up an alt and 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 going and and just blowing shit up with him in faction warfare. So, Frozen Fallout, Gul'dan Age stories, Crossing Darkness. When he started that story, I thought I was gonna start like a, a missed connection. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were standing there. Frozen, frozen you didn't Fallout. Notice me at first. I was I was <laughs> in I was in the system, and and I was scanning you in my probes. I think they almost touched you. But you didn't notice me and you just warped out. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. I miss you. All right. We'll be back after this break. It all started when I had that first shot of vodka. Before I knew it, I woke up soaked in gasoline, lying in a gutter somewhere. I decided to take out my cell and call Andy. The phone rang several times. Someone finally picked up. Hello? It was Kim's voice. But first we have to hear the wireless This is Jim. Well, the wireless is the We don't have the bad words. We don't have the bad words. So Sam. 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 So
we're back and today we are discussing strong female characters in video games in honor of women's month and day yay <laughs> yeah. i'm a woman Woo! You are? Woo! my wife says i'm a woman sometimes well she says i'm like a 14 year old girl but you know it's my music taste and, and you, you have you have partly a woman's spirit i think yeah well i'm a, what, a we, maiden's heart if you will what, what, what are, yeah You're not think, fully a man spirit <laughs> yeah yeah but um yeah so why don't we get started with uh sal why don't who do you have on your list that we should i went the other way i went bad you bitches. went the other way <laughs> bad you, went, you, you went you went guys is it what wait what no the you guys went heroines i went villains well That's i didn't totally specifically go villains heroines. are good yeah yeah Villains are not strong heroes. Strong care. Yeah, no, dude. In the first time we talk about female role models, a fucking Glados is one of my fucking favorite. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But anyways, go ahead. So, um, Ada Wong from Resident Evil. Resident Evil. What is that? That's Code Veronica. I think or she was six in Code or... Veronica. She was also in two. There's so many Resident Evil games. She was also in two. Remember, you could play as her or Hunk. Yeah, sure. I remember so. Oh, oh I can't <laughs> I can't wait for Resident Evil 8 and then our oh, our third yes. uh, strong female character. So tall lady can step on me. <laughs> yes, tall lady. So so vampire mommy is definitely an honorable mention, even though we haven't we've only seen the trailer, but she <laughs> she doesn't technically exist yet. Nine but... feet tall and she is a powerful vampire. <laughs> That's what we know. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil. Too. Death by Sneeze 2. Uh, Sal, but so so Wait a long, dude. She's she's a badass assassin, dude. She's a spy for Umbrella Corp. Umbrella. And uh she was she didn't take any shit from anybody, even when she was getting fucked over and dying. She, uh, Spoilers, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't. Dude, the I haven't game is like a hundred years old. <laughs> Kat, you're going to play this next on your stream. <laughs> yep and now i know uh, ada wong dies <laughs> oh well <laughs> is she a playable character or is she is she a... she's an unlock it's like a second playthrough with ada but, wong but i think in code in veronica normally? she was an actual playthrough huh is she is she like an npc in the game and then you she's an npc her. in the game okay. and um i think uh leon meets her in the underground bunker because she's trying that, to... that sounds like innuendo yeah the oh, underground literally bunker. an underground bunker <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to smuggle out some uh, sensitive materials but um again yeah, she's a uh... smuggling out sensitive materials is also a new window i'm just saying <laughs> no you smuggle well, I, I guess you can right <laughs> anything's a wallet if you try hard enough um <laughs> so, uh, so i picked her she was one of my favorite characters to play in it when you play the second playthrough and then I think she was a full playthrough in Code Veronica, mm -hmm. which um, she was. She was always a character that, that I liked playing because she was kind of a, the anti-hero, but still kind of a hero type of. So like kind of straddling the fa the fence and say, am I a bad person or am I a good person? Am I doing this for the corporation or is it because I'm inherently I, I like being bad? Yes, I do. But yeah, she was she was a fun character. But yeah, I think you, um, playing her was a lot more fun because you, you kind of knew you were gonna fuck somebody over in in the in the run through instead of with like playing as as um what was it Claire Redfield and Code Veronica. Yeah, kind of goody two shoes, you know. Which is funny because normally you're you play like paladins and healers and shit, which are generally goody two shoes. Oh, here's the thing. I play because everybody else is not gonna fucking pick the healer <laughs> or the support class, so I get the support class. You're the Taking support one for class. the team. He's the he's the yeah. druid. He's the healer in our our one shot with Lucifer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we would have been dead five like five or six times over had I not been casting mass heals on everybody. Yeah. Well, my 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 character is dumb and he wants to smash things, so he Yo, just runs no. head head first. I I was doing okay. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. I, you were I, doing your best. I, I was the range fighter and I barely got hurt. It was great. <laughs> I, 
I will submit Kat's character as a strong female character in a video game. <laughs> it is online. I had good roles, thank God. But yeah, Ada Sal Wong. has terrible Check roles. Oh my God. Ada Wong. My first roll was like a three. Yeah. <laughs> very first fucking throw is a three. Yeah. Uh, who had who had a one and then a nat twenty? <laughs> Me. That was oh. that was super. That was that was the orc, half orc barbarian. That was funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But uh, yeah, so check that. We're we're gonna do another one with Lizifer. Um, speaking of strong female characters, Lizifer. Yeah. Uh, we'll 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 be on on dm she'll be dming us uh, gming us again soon we had it scheduled for the end of the month but there was uh some life that got in the way so we'll, we'll reschedule soon soon i can't talk don't worry about me since i can't talk subly why don't you go next sure Hi, lily. Oh, lily. lily it's strong female character yeah <laughs> lily i thought i didn't know she was that big like seriously well well she's when... almost full grown She's getting there. Well, I guess I guess you did show us. Oh, oh, oh damn! <laughs> what did you tell me? <laughs> That's for sass mouthing me when we're off. <laughs> <Pay attention. laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not rubbing her ears. So you should always be rubbing her ears. I know. She's no, she's mean. huge. She's almost she's seven months old. Yeah, I think I think yeah. when I first saw the pictures, I thought she was a tiny little thing. What was she? What is what is she? She looks. Part she's a poodle. golden doodle. Oh, she's po okay. So she's. Yeah. Wait, but why is she? Not golden? all golden That's the poodle. Are, are... That's the poodle. That's the poodle. It's the poodle. I mean, and don't I mean golden retrievers come in different colors too, right? Can't even see her. They have golden. different. The they have different shades of um, kind of like golden. They have like a reddish yeah. gold. They have the gold gold. They have the cream. White. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> she got a little dead spit. ass though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. All right. She's done being the strong <laughs> female character in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I wanted to make an ode to my favorite series of all time. And I picked uh, Princess Zelda from the Legend of Zelda series. Classic. Wait. I definitely understand that in the it, it, in the later games, she was a much stronger character. She was barely even a character in like the first few nests through or oh nests. yeah, the you know the little two D yeah games. Yeah, she was barely involved. Oh, but 2D games, Ugh, people are so young. They were good, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, she was. There wasn't much that was able to go on in those games, Lily. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm busy. She wants so bad to be a part of it. <laughs> she does. Lily, come over here. I'll hang out with you while she talks. <laughs> <laughs> here she's coming. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, but starting off in Ocarina of Time, she really became like a very strong character, Lily. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that is true. Like there, that was when it start. That was like when it started. That was like the last. <laughs> Zelda game that I played unfortunately my wife played through I think my wife has actually played more Zelda games than I have because my wife after my wife <laughs> after she after she um played like Twilight Princess Ocarina of Time and those games I was like you have to play the originals and she did she played all through NES and SNES um and that was awesome because she was playing it on a, on a projector and I'd never seen you know the original Zelda that size and and it was it was really cool but um yeah i mean so, i mean in ocarina of time um you know she doesn't sit on her butt and just wait for her kingdom to be saved by the hero of time um mm -hmm. you know she becomes chic mm -hmm. and yeah. chic right. is really pretty badass yeah totally but that I was that was also that that sort of made her appear like gender neutral at at best, right? Because I I don't I don't remember really thinking at first whether Sheik was actually. I I mean I thought it was a dude. I think I mean, that was kind of like guess the. It was her right off the bat. But I, I think it was supposed to be a little ambiguous because it was yeah. supposed well, to be like later. you know this big surprise you know she was trying to hide her complete identity 
yeah and the ambiguity was was closer to it but like i i guess maybe you know my my unconscious bias uh assumed that she was a dude um but and and, and J- japanese culture too ambiguity is um i don't know i don't know what the term would be if, if it would be well respected or if it's if it's just that it's more popular than other cultures Sal, you're the fucking know. resident weeaboo. Fucking say something. <laughs> Jesus <Right>. Christ. <laughs> they, they, what, they try to be as androgynous as they can. Yes. I but, guess. Um, maybe maybe it was a sort of message that, um, you know, you you shouldn't have to judge a person's heroic capabilities based on gender. Yeah. I mean, you know, like Lord of the Rings. Um, but no, no, dude, dude. Was, I am no man. When I, when I played the game, I was like, oh, that's Zelda. And nobody else in the in the whole. I want to I want to call out in, bullshit in on Sal because I I wasn't there. There were no pictures. There was nothing. There's Where's no the ever, receipt, evidence. Sal? There's no evidence to corroborate this. When I'm trying to do something and and the much. reason why I say that is because when he says oh, that game was easy and I beat it, he exploits every single game he plays. Every single game he plays, he exploits. Right. I use the game mechanics. To so exploit them every so fucking exploit, time. Yeah. That's what you do. If they didn't want me to use it, they wouldn't put it in the game. It's exactly. Not like it's and that's it's the, not like it's a bug. I'm, it's not I'm like not it's saying that mechanic. I don't exploit. I exploit shit too, but but, so but I figured it out stuff. immediately when she appeared. <laughs> and I was like, is, is it like, does nobody else figure it out? It's like the Superman. Well, I guess Subly did. Conundrum. Right? I put these glasses on. I'm no longer Superman. And nobody can see Clark me. Clark Kent. Did you, did you, you figure it out immediately? Subly? No, I didn't figure it out immediately. It took me a little bit. Yeah. And I like, now I like how you said figured it out. Now that which was like a salad. Uh like chicken. Which which of these came first? Was <laughs> it Sheik or or Samus? Samus? Samus came first, right? So she kind of yes. did like a Samus. No, because Samus happened. Right? Samus, Samus was already androgynous. You didn't know what Samus wasn't until you beat the, the game. End. But um, with, with, with Zelda, it's different. But you weren't because... supposed to know who Sheik was until the end, right? I suppose so. But well, until um, she reveals herself, like almost. But but, the end, but right? Sheik didn't yeah. exist at the very beginning, right? of zelda in general i just think it's the same kind of idea where it's supposed to be androgynous you're not supposed yeah. to know who yeah, like true. what gender yeah, the character yeah, is you're just supposed mystery. to appreciate the character as is. yeah you can't tell you can't tell from samus's uh suit or from uh, uh, well or movements or anything or yeah, until, yeah. The, until the very until end, zero suit. The perfect end. <laughs> i think people are yeah, still the... learning today that samus was yeah. a lady <laughs> I think I think that was one of the the coolest. Honestly, like I don't I don't know if, how much we talked about that in the role models episode that we did, the female role models episode. But Samus was probably part of what I identified with a long time ago, and how awesome she was because I didn't know she was a she until the very end, and and. And everybody else knows this um, about me, but I only make female characters unless unless there's a a reason to do uh, a male character or something else gender when lock. I have the choice. Yeah, if there's a gender lock or something like you know, like if I, if, I, if I'm I'm Cloud, I'm obviously like that. The way that Final Fantasy worked, you were Cloud. Well, the main character was Cloud, but I always make female characters. Um, and when I saw, I, I don't know, I felt really connected. To Samus, I guess, because I don't know, maybe because like what, what, what we said previously, I have like a maybe more of a gender neutral soul. I I don't like labels, and I don't I don't um I think all this this um, hubbub over pronouns is ridiculous. But I'm not a straight white male. That is not something that I am. So I don't I don't identify as that at the very least. I can say that. Um, and I just, I really like, I like strong female characters. Yeah. I think more people are embracing strong, just like the general females. idea of fluidity, whether it be with like your own gender or uh, things that you like that maybe when we were kids, we were taught not to like because of our gender. Yeah. yeah. You know? 
Like people like, are more conscious of the things that they like without having to put a label on it or without having yeah, to think exactly. like, oh, I, I think, shouldn't like this I think, because I think I'm a that, girl uh, or because I'm a guy. You know, like it's still this, it's still the same at like Target. There's like a girl's aisle for toys and a boy's aisle for toys. Yeah, we need to change and that. I no, yeah, we do, we do. I I because I, I don't see I don't see that difference. Like you play with what you want to fucking play with. Spike of all people, the the largest male of our tribe that dude is fucking huge he played with barbie dolls when yeah. he was a kid i don't like, know if you're making an argument for that being a good thing look at andrew how he came out that, <laughs> sal we hey 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 we got to support him he is absolutely a trans woman in the closet still <laughs> but anyway let's go back to to zelda because <laughs> we kind of got off on a tangent i do i love it that about related. zelda that she um that she took matters in her own hands and yeah and she continues that through a lot of the other um games in the series um even in so like breath of the wild for what a hundred years she's keeping ganon at bay for link to recover and come help but she's basically sacrificed herself to keep the entire kingdom safe twilight princess she gave her life for midna for midna to have life again midna was the the antagonist right uh somewhat yes that was the one that, well, she did fight no midna's the she's like that little dark spritey kind of character right the artwork in that was very like aztec in my opinion the way everything was shaped and stuff but yeah um i'm just i'm just thinking about because those characters were, I, I remember seeing those those characters being really cool my wife played that game i i i think there was one boss that she you got frustrated it with wrong. I'm, sorry my wife my wife my wife <laughs> she she i think she had me fight one of the bosses um and that's only because she was not raised with video games which is also was a sexist thing because you know she didn't want or her her parent you know wanted her to video games are for boys right they're not for girls um so she didn't get to play video games until later in life and and she's she's been greatly educated now at this point in video games um but that that was a tangent i definitely i don't even know what was going on zelda we were talking about zelda you're talking yes. about midna midna Minna, yeah. at first in the game, it's not clear what exactly her motives are. All right, she she's really only helping Link because she wants something for herself. She wants him to find these pieces to a helmet. But it's not entirely clear whether she's actually good or bad. Yeah, just a little selfish. Yes. You can't hear monkey eating, can you? <laughs> Was that the crunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, crunch Lily has and... this dragon like that is yeah. oh, that's a crunch. <laughs> also crinkly. <laughs> There's the monkey. He's eating his dinner. Don't worry about it. <laughs> monkey. 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 Oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> hey. What? Am I interrupting your dinner? Don't interrupt his dinner. <laughs> He's an old grumpy man. Oh, there we go. But no, I, I agree. Zelda is a very strong female character and um, she's... She's powerful a, in her own right. And a and huge influence on um, kids playing games you know in that era up to up to now yeah i mean ask anybody walking down the street name a female video game character most people will probably say zelda yep if they actually know video games because some people don't realize that zelda zelda is, is the princess and i'm the, the right, and person not in the Link. green tunic yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true that's true which was a, 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 a mostly a problem with the earlier games, right? Because it was the Legend of Zelda and, and 
you never really saw Zelda. <laughs> and you never knew even knew fucking Link's name when you started the thing. It was like if you'd left it as default, then it was Link. <laughs> <laughs> if you did if you changed it, like that was the only time, right? <laughs> At the very beginning of the game, if it's it, it it defaulted as Link, and then you were like, nah, I'm gonna put my name in. Who the fuck is Link? I don't know, Link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So everybody thought, you know, Zelda. I can see that. All right, Kat, who do you have? So mine, because I wanted to, I wanted to try, since we did this before, and I thought I remembered who I said, and then Samson corrected me. <laughs> so but I wanted to make sure. I don't know if that's what happened, but okay. Kind of. But I want to make sure it was from a more recent game. And I, you know, I didn't have a lot of choices because lately I've been playing games where it's either not a story or like the characters um, are like neutral. Like they don't, it's just games like Phasmophobia where you're just a character in order to do things. It's not like they're an actual person that has like a backstory or whatever. But um, I actually played a game uh, recently called A Plague Tale Innocence. And I think that Amicia uh, from that game is a very strong uh, female character. And without like giving too much away, if you haven't played it, because I highly recommend that you play it. Um, it's not a super long game. I would say, wait, let me see how many hours I put into it. Not, not that many. And I'm slower at games. So keep that in mind when I tell you how long I played this game. I have 17 hours in this game. Um, and I take longer than a lot of people. So most people can get this done probably in like 12 hours. We're well, also um, like explaining it to all of your chat while you're doing it too. No, I played this off stream. Oh, I played this on my own. Right. I've never witnessed you play a game on your own. I don't think so. That we, we I, And I take my time, you know, well, like no, some. No, no. We did watch you play PT and that was hilarious. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> it's so confusing she you have played, to do things she just so to stubbly. progress she played pt uh on our on my 120 inch projector at nighttime with all the lights out and we were all there and we recorded her reaction and it was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> so and that was before i was like really into scary games so i was like really scared yeah because <laughs> she hated scary games and we had to we mm, yeah, we did. We did. We may, we maybe you know we suggested it uh, uh, strongly that you should play this. And we, yeah, we're we're here. We'll support you. You know we're here. We're all here. So, but it was hilarious. Well, thank bummed you for that not didn't get a a full game because that. Yeah. The, no. Absolutely. The demo was amazing. I yeah. have a PS4 out there with PT on it. That's probably worth at least a hundred bucks more than what it's normally worth. <laughs> because yeah, it can't has get PT. that shit anymore. Yeah, you can't get PT anymore. Um, but okay, so Amicia from A Plague Tale Innocence, she's 15 years old, and um, pretty much right from the get-go, her world is turned completely upside down. She's royal, um, so a plague a plague hits France. I think it's it, it's around the time like uh, in history where where I think it was the Black Plague hit France um and I think this kind of alludes to it but they they put like a fantastical spin on it but this plague hits uh her her dad is killed um her mom is killed and she just she has this um younger brother that she barely knows because um he had some sort of condition growing up and his their mom would never let them see each other and their mom took care of them like full time. So she only like knew her dad and all this stuff. And so now she's tasked with protecting her younger brother and she's all alone. Like she lost both her parents. She has this kid that she has to take care of that she doesn't know. And she does it pretty well. Like there are bumps along the way, of course, but for a 15 year old to handle that kind of responsibility while also running away from this plague that's killing everybody and people that want to kill them for being royal it's bonkers it's insane so she has a, a lot to shoulder and she really takes it in stride and um 
the game does a good job at showing that she's human and she's not perfect, but that she just like, she knows that she has to buckle down for her little brother. And like the fact that she takes on that responsibility, even though she doesn't know her younger brother, like she could have just left him. Really, she could have, but she decides to do everything she can to protect him. And so I think that she's a really strong person. Like, and by the end of the game, you just see that growth and that progression and how strong she's become through adversity it's awesome it's a really good game i recommend you guys watch it so is that, is that an indie game um indie game i'm is. not sure it's very well produced Let yeah me, but i mean we're an indie podcast and i think we're very well produced <laughs> <laughs> Only on the weekends. I mean, Only on the weekends, yes. As my by, camera as my camera fucks up. I mean the tags don't say indie. It's from um a Sobo Studio developer and the publisher's Focus Home Interactive. Um I don't know any of those things. Came out in May 2019, so almost two years ago. Um great ratings, nine out of ten, eight out of ten, eight point five out of ten, ten out of ten very positive on steam um tags are story rich adventure female protagonist action um it yeah it's really cool and it kind of is a blend of like horizon zero dawn tomb raider mm. um in gameplay mm. so it's it's a really good game speaking yeah speaking of exactly. horizon zero dawn mm -hmm. um aloy is like so like she is one of the so one of the interesting things about horizon zero dawn was it was not a game that i i mean i saw like when it originally debuted i was like that looks fucking amazing um but i was i was obsessed with dark souls at the time so i mean i couldn't see much more than dark souls and uh but my wife saw that game. i'm i'm so sorry so my wife saw that game and she wanted to play it and she played it and i i watched i watched i would say 75 percent of the game in the story uh watching her play the game and it was it was it was one of those games that i really i, I liked i liked watching her play i would just sit there uh, on the couch while she was playing it on on the screen and and like it was it's just such a beautiful game and i uh Aloy, who is voice acted by none other than Ashley Birch, one of my favorite uh, people in in general, I would I would love to have her on the show. She's an amazing voice actress and writer and producer. Um, Ashley, uh, what? Hey Ash, what you playing? Was one of my fucking favorite um, series is on. I I think I found it on YouTube. And it was just hilarious. Her and her brother, Anthony, um, I think the Zork one got me the best. Like, I almost feel like I should just say Ashley Birch instead instead of Aloy <laughs> because she's freaking amazing. <laughs> um, but, but sticking to video, strictly video games, Aloy's character was so um, interesting and, and mysterious at first and, ex and very strong both physically and mentally and into the whole story, emotionally even. And uh, it, it was one of those games where it was like, there was a lot, it was a lot like, you know, like, like Monster Hunter. I feel like it's like Monster Hunter but with actual story. Cause Monster Samson, Hunter and there's Chloe like- Chloe and Life is Strange. I, I've, I don't, I don't know that comparison because I haven't played that game, but, um, oh wait, oh, oh you God. mean, Ant, Ant, you mean, you mean Ashley? Ash yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, yes, That's I get what that. I said, yeah. right? She's yes. You, no, I, I, yes. You just said she's Chloe. I just heard she's Chloe or in that Life is Strange, but she's also, um, uh, in addition to her her ser their series, um, hey, Ash, what you're playing? Um, she's also fucking Tiny Tina in. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, she's and so good! Wow. Tiny Tina, um, I don't even know if I mentioned her in the last one because she's one of my fucking favorite characters ever. She's just like, 
she's nuts and you just you don't fuck with her because she will kill you she has like her own cult following and shit in borderlands like uh and then tiny tina's uh what's it called tiny tina's assault on dragon keep assault on dragon keep oh my god that was the best hands down dlc with feels so many feels fucking she didn't know that roland was dead the entire time <laughs> so it was really it was really sad but um aloy sorry back to aloy ashley birch um just a super strong and, and you get to see one of the things that's so good speaking to the game itself and the writing and the acting uh you you start with young aloy like it, mm -hmm. i know it's not for very right. long but she's like like a you know five or six or something like that like she's small i think it's like the first the very first like prelude or whatever and her character and then you know, grows to like an adult age and it's just and and she's absolutely like the the game very much favored like stealth and uh you know death from the darkness or whatever like it was and and so she's kind of kind of like a ranger assassin kind of character which i identify with all of my my rp is my favorite thing in any sort of role play is to be like an assassin or or a rogue or anything that's just in in just you know you don't you don't even know you're, you don't even know i'm you don't know i'm there you don't know who i am until you're dead yeah that's the, that's 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 like the the play style that i like and so relating to video hence games, why i'm always running fucking support and <laughs> I love that Aloy, from a young age, saw her goal and worked every day to attain yeah. that goal. And yeah. then when she met that goal, she had a whole other world opened up to her. And then she set another goal. And she just doesn't lose sight of that. She always has something she's working towards and she doesn't falter. Yeah, Which and to speak amazing. from like the, the 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 neutral or centrist or gender neutral point of view, that's what it's about, right? Having the audacity, the the gumption, the moxie, whatever fucking word you want to use, to follow to to not only plan your goals but to follow through with them, that should not be um, related to gender at all. No, that's, that's of course the strength not. Of yeah, character. That's your person that's that's something that you know fucking survival of the fittest right i mean adapt adaption like adapting to things like strength in gaming for example you know i bet i bet some shows died during covid i bet a lot of entertainment things just you know we're like we can't do this anymore but we adapted and here we are yeah and Kat is definitely a strong female character. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She yes. definitely is. Yeah. I, we, know, we know that because we know that her pronouns are she. We know that because I've seen Andrew's bruises. <laughs> 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 yeah. The, so the, so I don't know if Subly knows this, but a long, when we first started, after Gone Girl came out, there was a lot of jokes that Kat was a uh, Gone Girl. <laughs> i gone girl to andrew <laughs> yeah so he was because he, he travels a lot because he works that's yeah, why he was true. always he gone <laughs> working. yeah he he used to be gone all the time now now he's never gone he just works really late hours but he never like goes out of town anymore um She's but, like, but <laughs> yeah out of town but before we move away from Aloy, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, if, if we're looking at like strong female games in general, also Horizon Zero Dawn is very, um, very, I don't know if I want to say skewed towards um, representing females or not, but it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I didn't feel that, that it was skewed that way. Well, I kind of felt that just because I thought it was interesting. It's not that I like felt strongly about it one way or another, but I found it very interesting that the Nora tribe where Aloy mm -hmm. is from 
is a matriarchy. So, and you don't yes, see that a lot matriarchal. represented. The the female um, villagers in not villagers uh, tribe members, um, the females in that tribe um, are the leaders. No, mm -hmm. no males are leaders in in that entire tribe, which is not true for all the tribes that you meet. Like the um, the Sun Tribe, I think is is more um, has more males in power yeah. than the Nora Tribe, and then you have some where gender doesn't matter when it comes to leaders. Yeah. I think like the I, the Ice Tribe uh, and, is and like yeah, the that. Ones in the frozen that's, north. That's that's also interesting too because like I feel like um, you know speaking to what I was discussing earlier. Um, that my family is patriarchal because Latino. I feel like Latino families are. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's just um, really the the old matron that's the one in charge. Even if if well, but the grandfather is alive, it's grandma that runs the shit. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess it is matriarchal. My mine was my upbringing was but, very uh, gender neutral. Like n neither my mother or my father seemed to have more power than the other. They were a team. They were pretty equal. Yeah, that was with me too. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, you know, yeah, it's definitely matriarchal, but they also like it's interesting. It's an interesting dynamic because they favor the males side, which it's it's almost like a misogynist matriarch on the on, in Latino culture. I feel, um, because like, well, well but yeah, also, that's true. Because my my grandmother, my grandmother, um. She was the one that ran the shit because my grandfather died when my mom was very young. But um, even still, like um, when I was at my aunt's house and she was there and I was washing dishes, she stopped me and said, what are you doing? That's the woman's job. Go go to the living room. Yeah, right. Down. So like like she told you what Fuck. to do and they, they do tell it's, it's like they run it. But but it's it's like they still had like gender roles. So like what's funny is because uh, my wife. Uh, who comes from uh, a much more, um, I'm going to say, right-centric side of the political spectrum, is also very matriarchal, but it's it's it it still has that um, the gender roles. It's that's an interesting thing. Like, I don't know. I, I feel I feel I feel like we just maybe realized that women were running everything anyway already. Yeah, it's just that I think traditionally um, men had the final say in everything, whereas I think the women worked worked up until that point for everything to come together. But then at the end of the day, if if the male in the family says yeah, no, I, I then but like it's just it's interesting um i don't know but i guess with, i guess what i was saying was just that i feel like that's why i identify more with strong female characters than male characters yeah yeah and i i did like i mean i did really like that in horizon zero dawn they had a matriarchal tribe because you don't you don't see that represented very often yeah you see you see the patriarchy uh represented more but um it's it's fun to see what it's like when something is matriarchal but i think we all agree that we're we're all trying to kind of see more of a gender neutral um situation i guess like whether it be a tribe or family or whatever you know we of course there can be genders you you can have a specified gender but that doesn't play into um specifically what role you have within the tribe or the family or what have you it's based off of your skills um and what you based off of your personality like yeah. yeah and what you like to do what yeah so speaking at. speaking of motherly figures my next one is mother brain from metroid she is a mother she is a brain <laughs> <laughs> and extremely powerful and extremely powerful takes 100 missiles to kill the bitch <laughs> <laughs> And if, you don't, know, if you don't, don't if you don't, if you don't get all those else, missile, co I don't think anybody else could get away right now at this moment with saying that word. Yeah, brain. Yeah, brain. That's what you said. <laughs> oh. But um, 
hopefully one day we're popular enough for people to get really triggered by this episode. Yeah, by a, <laughs> by a I, monster I hope so. brain getting above all killed things. A bitch. I love triggering people. The people but, um, that deserve it. Yeah, dude. Yes, Mother Brain is, is another brain. another badass bitch. It's one of yes. the first. She was the hardest fight up until Ninja Gaiden came out. Like, because that was a launch title, Metroid. Dude, and dude there were so many feel. There were so many feels in on the SNES on uh, uh, Super Metroid when the Metroid fucking saves your oh, ass. Yeah, the baby. Oh my god! Spoilers. <laughs> when it drains Mother Brain's Omega weapon and gives it to yeah. you. Yep, saw you as his mom. And that's why Mother Brain is a bad bitch. <laughs> Playing in on missiles. You didn't get those missiles. missiles. You had to, you had to kill the. You got the 99 little, missiles, but a Mother Brain ain't one. A Mother Brain ain't one of them. So that's just another iconic villain that's a female. So I'm, I'm kind nursing of right. A with your case, right. I think they're assuming her gender. They're assuming her villainy. They're assuming, yeah. they're assuming her motives. All right. So yeah, Mother Brain is another one. Like, there's a ton. I was gonna choose um, Ultimicia. I think that's how you say her name for Final Fantasy VIII. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Noah's, Noah's, um, not Adia. Idea? No. I would choose Adia over Ultimicia. Well, because it was kind of circling around her though most of the most of the game yeah but i i feel like idea had had the better arc because ultimacy i just felt like was ultimately <laughs> just just a bitch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a bitch who wanted power and that's it um whereas idea she oh gosh i I wouldn't want to spoil it for you guys because it's actually Final Fantasy VIII. But no, then, now you're now you're to, you're taking it finish. from the scope of it's, just a villainess to somebody who have Final Fantasy VIII at this point. Cat, come on. I know. Okay. Well, so Ultimicia is like the big bad sorceress, but you you don't really know that at the beginning. You think at the beginning, Adia is the big bad sorceress. That's who is introduced to you at the beginning as the villain. But Adia has the story arc where she's not really the villain. Um, something something happened where um, she just becomes a villain, but not of her own volition. Uh, and then you you figure that out, and you figure out who she truly is, and who she truly is pretty much set the event uh, in motion of the game. So she brought. All, all of the main characters together when they were children in order to eventually in the future have them go through the events of the game to defeat Ultimicia. So, but like she, but while they're trying to get to Ultimicia, before they even know they're supposed to get to Ultimicia, they have to deal with Adia, uh, the evil version, not the good version. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's like this whole thing. Like I, I wouldn't want to go in and explain all of it, but Idea Idea has an interesting story well, arc, whereas ultimately, but she's more she's more of the tra the a tragic hero than than a villain though, because ultimately you you end up finding her whole story and then it's like oh she's just misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, she's and not she's, really she's a, villain. Not a villain. Or she was just made out to to look that way pretty much, and she acted like it for a bit, but <laughs> I don't think it was her her choice. Um, but Ultimicia is like a bad bitch. She really, she is. She's powerful, and she gets what she wants. And she'll she kill a son of a bitch to get it. <laughs> she she should have took uh, some of that sweet, sweet squall. <laughs> Remember in the at the at the concert, you're the <clears throat> handsomest guy here, and the, the face is all jacked up. Oh yeah. Wow, is that is that a rove? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it looks like the same vape that I, I use. It probably is. I don't know. Yeah, it's it probably cheap. a bro. Yeah, they're fucking cheap and they work. And they're mm -hmm. rechargeable. Sorry, we're smoking weed over here. I you know what? Every day. Smoke weed every day. If there is one sponsor that we should get, it should be weed. I mean I have I have a weed 
sweatshirt on. She, you're wearing a weed sweatshirt. <laughs> Sal and I are fucking vaping. Today's Zen brought to you by Weed. You know what? We'll just call Sandals I'm gonna, and be like, hey, you want to sponsor us? <laughs> I'm, you know what? No, no, no. I'm going to start with my local dispensary. This, the dispensary that I go to. I'm just going to say, hey, dude, we got this fucking popular show. You want to you wanna sponsor? Yeah. Yeah, and if they sell sweatshirts, tell them, like, we'll wear your fucking sweatshirts on yeah, our Yeah, we'll stream. wear your gear, and, and, and we, we wanna, you don't even have to pay us. Just give us weed. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> just fucking give us weed. That's pretty much <laughs> legal tender nowadays. <laughs> you don't care. Just give I me, only need weed, like, weed. once every couple months, too, so it would be a sweet deal for them. But we need to fix <laughs> that. You need, to, you need to be smoking more. Well, I've, I've stopped for now. I've. I've stopped for now. I'm not stopping forever. Just for right. now. <laughs> but okay. uh, moving yeah. on. It's Sal. Yes. Subleak, you got another character? Yeah. And so um, I actually kind of thought of Pokemon. And so I mean, you can pick at the beginning whether you play the male or the female character. And so I, for me, I always pick the female character. But thinking about it, like, they're what, twelve years old, in the games, yeah. mm -hmm. and they go out on this journey on their own, catch all of these Pokemon, master them. You can defeat the you know Elite Four and become the Pokemon champion of your region. All at like twelve years old. Yeah, that's a pretty badass. Thing yeah, yeah. Mind like, you, well, though, I've always thought that. <laughs> Mind you, the, the champions are usually either adults or about to be adults, right? They're either in high school or they're already adults. But here's a 12-year-old fighting them. Whooping like, yeah, their I ass. I traveled all by myself, and I caught this Pokemon when it was... That sounds like poor parenting more than anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've honestly had that sure thought, thing, though. Sure thing, Satoshi. Go out there and... Almost died. <laughs> I've been chased by Lily Lily. Face. Get chased by international criminals. That's a good thing. <laughs> as long as you grow as a person. Just barge in people's houses. <laughs> See, one of the reasons why we can't have Devin on with Subly at the same time is because he wouldn't be able to speak because he would be uh, mesmerized by puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about Pokemon because Devin's like actually pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, he's about definitely Pokemon. knowledgeable about Pokemon, but I'm just I'm just thinking about like when we did the Death Nut, I think you brought Oliver on for a second and he had to stop. He was like, puppy! Just to see <laughs> puppy. <laughs> Dude, if we had Andrew here, like if if Sully was talking about Pokemon and Andrew was here, he wouldn't fucking shut up. Like he he knows <laughs> way too much about Pokemon. He plays it every single shut fucking up, day. Shut like I'm not kidding. He plays Pokemon Go. He's restarted uh, all his Pokemon games several times over. Like I think he just finished Sun and Moon, and now oh. he's gone back to either I think it's uh, Ruby Sapphire. He went back not Omega Ruby. But the the game one, way. the the regular one, yeah. I think he went back to that, and then um, he'll probably go back to black and white pretty soon because that's his favorite. They're re they're re releasing um, which Pokemon ones? Pearl and Diamond again? Yeah, Diamond, Diamond and, Pearl, and Pearl. Yeah, yeah, they're he, re releasing it again. He doesn't know how he feels about that. <laughs> <laughs> they need to do that to all of them, dude. Just remake all of them. Same way, red and red and green. He says that if if they don't do this right, they're they're gonna disappoint Pokemon fans everywhere, <laughs> and like he might be done with Pokemon if they don't figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I'm not really enjoying the the current uh, Sword and Shield. I'm not really either. I didn't finish fun. Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield is like it's cute, but it's just the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting it's not fun. burnt the, out. The raid the raid battles are kind of dumb too. The Gigantamaxing is kind of dumb too. <laughs> Cause you can't use them in tournaments. You, you turn the Pokemon like huge. It looks awesome when you get like the rare ones, but you can't use them in tournaments. So all these Pokemon that you're breeding in just so you can have them competitive. If they have Gigantamaxing in and you can't use it. So it's like, what's the, what's the point of this rare Pokemon that I've bred and then, because it's one of the ones that supersize you. 
That's yeah. one of their biggest strengths is them supersizing. You can't use it in tournaments. So there's there's a lot of mechanics that they they put in there. They should have stopped at at, at um X Y Z. Yeah, the, I really liked X and Y. Yeah. Yeah, they were fun. That was the last one I really enjoyed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I kind of got bored almost with Sun and Moon. Yeah, I did too. I there are too. only 151 Pokemon. Change my mind. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the you don't like the, oh, the bag of garbage as a Pokemon? Change my mind. Or a stone? Just a stone. Almost it's just a rock. rock and I think almost all of Andrew's favorites that he likes to use in battle are not Gen 1 Pokemon. Like he always goes, well Metacross. No, that's everybody. not Gen 1. Um yeah, he likes Metagross, Greninja, um, Chandelure. Uh, he's um, he's being meta though. I bet you he's, they have perfect Crobat. IVs. And... I mean, he does he does do the whole breeding thing, and then he he got the pokey virus recently, and he's like, man, I gotta like switch things up before I go to bed every night, otherwise they're gonna lose it. And I'm just like, oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 Pokemon, what? Pokemon chlamydia, chlamydia dude. The, chlamydia. This, <laughs> yeah, this, it's, this but it's is, a good uh, kind of chlamydia. Like yeah, you want chlamydia. this chlamydia. <laughs> You want the clap. Mm hmm But yeah, but yeah the... he's he's and he's doing a nuzlocke right now. Like he had he mm. has to like switch it up to make sure that he's entertained. You guys are speaking Greek right now. What, <laughs> what is going on? I have no idea what y'all are saying. A nuzlocke is like a um a challenge run of a Pokemon game. So any right now he's doing any any Pokemon that dies, uh, like faints in battle dies like he has to release them into the wild so that i think that's the main part of his nuzlocke is just releasing pokemon that faint even once mm -hmm. and he has to give them all nicknames he said mm -hmm. that too <laughs> so you grow no no man he's a nerd more when you this shit <laughs> sounds intense <laughs> I, I dude don't know if I, I i thought that i couldn't I thought do that because I, I get i get too attached to my pokemon i, I could never too. release them yep. here He's i thought that me having four accounts in eve and role playing in eve was nerdy y'all are talking shit that about pokemon and i don't even know what you're saying yeah that... and he he logs into my pokemon go account to play my Pokemon Go when well, he's done with when, all his shit. When Pokemon Go came out, my wife and I were <laughs> good job. And we Yay. we were we were just obsessed with playing that game to the point where I kid you not, one of us, uh, well no, I think it was me. I I I um set up like I figured out in our local area there were like seven. Um, what were they called? The places where you collected stuff? Stops. Uh, a nest or a Pokestops? Pokestops. I found where like there was like you know several Poke uh, Pokestops in our area, and literally one of us would drive while the like slowly into parking lots and shit, while the other one would just hit the Pokestops with yeah. both, of, <laughs> both of our phones. I am not kidding. <laughs> Every and time we go see I, his mom, that's what we do. At, I worked at AAA and the auto and this is this is this is public information at this point the auto club headquarters the uh ACMO auto club uh mobile uh, uh administrative office the administrative offices uh we had a gym in our fucking cafeteria I am not oh, that's kidding right. it was literally I remember you told me that it was literally a landmark in the game because out of that cafeteria, they did a lot of like uh, teen teen driving school shit and a whole bunch of stuff. And so it, it's, it's, it's like a landmark. And, and so that's what they ended up adding as a gym. So did random ass people come to your work? <laughs> yes. People would be uh, the the AO the administrative offices were fucking huge. It's a mass. It's a campus. There's a a parking lot that can fit thousands of cars. Like, it's it's ridiculous. And I think four or five thousand people worked there when I was working there. 
in just in that location. Obviously, there are many more locations uh, for AAA all over the U.S. and um, internationally. But we had a book, uh, a fucking gym in our cafeteria, and um, we were um, God. What were the what, what were the teams? There were three teams, right? Red, blue. Mystic, Valor, and Instinct. Mm-hmm. Red, blue, yellow. Wait, which one's red? Red, Valor. red is Valor. 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 Yeah, we were all team Valor uh, at, at, in my department. <laughs> yeah, I'm Valor as well. <laughs> yeah, we were all we were I all Valor. I don't play, but I'm Valor. <laughs> <laughs> and and when we went on vacation, uh, my wife, we went on vacation and i think in san diego and there was like it was it was another his like historic area so there was some more <laughs> there was like a loop um where you could walk through this awesome like park along the coast that was you know an attraction it was crazy like they in, when they integrated that we got way off topic at this point so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna just i'm really high so i'm just gonna let somebody else talk i'm gonna lie Okay. Well, um, do we have time for what? One more? Yeah. You're the last one. Go for it. Wait, didn't Samson have one more? No. He said he's he done did. talking. He okay. Did <laughs> he done did twice. <laughs> You're like, please up. don't don't encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, we talked about this before we started recording um, because I really only had Amicia, but as we were just chatting during the break, I thought about Senua from Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. And the reason I didn't really think about her before is because I never finished the game myself, but I've, I've gone through a lot of the beginning of the game and I've seen bits and pieces of the end watching uh, my friend stream. And I, I do know like the premise of the game and, and like the ultimate goal that Senua is trying to achieve. Um, so Senua is, um, a warrior, um, that is trying to save the soul of, of her dead lover. Um, and I don't know why the soul was taken by Hela, but for some reason, the goddess Hela has, um, her lover's soul. And so she goes on this, like, strenuous journey in order to save him and all the while um i believe that she suffers from um some sort of psychosis like a schizophrenia and yeah the, I, I mean so. the the game I developers worked with um with uh let me make sure i'm getting it right with neuroscientists they they worked with neuroscientists to try and accurately depict what it was like for somebody to struggle with psychosis. And although I don't have psychosis myself, I thought it was like, I thought it was really well done. Obviously I, I can't be the voice of reason for that. Cause I don't have psychosis. So I don't know what it's like, but it was captivating and amazing. And, and whoever played Senua um, really got it th- across that this girl was struggling and she did not have an easy time throughout the game um but she was determined just like Aloy like sets her goals and sees it through to the end like no matter what Senua does that but she struggles so much more than Aloy does I would argue because Aloy like physically struggles I would say like she has a lot of physically demanding things that she has to do but she trained for that. She knew that she would, she would um, have to do these things. But um, and Senua was a warrior, so she's physically capable as well. But Senua's uh, struggle was really mental, more than physical. Um, and she is just like a badass bitch. Like you in parts of the game, I think she just fucking screams because she just like <laughs> she doesn't. She's really going through it. She's struggling, but she still sees her task through to the end. And she cares so much about about this person that she's um, willing to do that for him. Not to interrupt, but uh, M- Melina Jorgens, Jorgens uh, is the actress that uh, plays Senua. Melina did a fucking amazing job. Again, I haven't finished. I haven't finished the game myself, but from what I've seen, I've seen 
quite a bit of the game, probably like two thirds of the game I've seen. And oh, man, like you feel stuff <laughs> in this game, just like watching her. And it, and it's supposed, that game is supposed to hit you that way. It's supposed to be like an experience. Um, yeah. Like it's I recommended mean, the trailer that you play alone, with headphones on. The trailer alone illustrated that for me, and I still haven't played the game, but I really, really, <laughs> the Cali is rubbing on your face. <laughs> 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 Had a lot of animal guests today. Yeah, yeah well, we have. It's funny because I've actually um, seen Sal's cats in person very recently. Was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had his place was getting sprayed, so he, he him and his wife uh, came over with <laughs> their cats um, to stay for like a few hours while they were getting the how their place was getting sprayed. And and your cats were prisoners in their little pen in her <laughs> living room. Dude, this one took she took forever to get used to being back home. She kept Aww. hissing at Chupi. Like, <laughs> we were just in the same cage together. Chupi was I wanna point out Chupi was sleeping in your litter box in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> your cats are weird, man. I know. Box I is cats. a box. Yes, a box is a box. Oh cats <laughs> love boxes. Very true. Box is life box. for cats. A box is a box, and neither of them had to go to the bathroom. It doesn't matter. Don't I don't want the fancy bed. I want the box that the bed came in, please. <laughs> that literally happened with this fool right here. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You gonna wake up now? Yeah, monkey. <laughs> Where are you going? You're looking. Where's my dog? Looking, you're looking for more food. Dude, yeah. my dogs aren't in here, and that worries me. <laughs> He's just going for more food. But Monkey, I I bought him that heated bed that's up there. And um, the first thing he did after I put it up there was literally go into the box that it came in and fall asleep. In the box, like literally <laughs> fell asleep in the box of the bed that I just put up on the shelf for him. <laughs> My puppy is laying, one of the puppies is just laying right here. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> we got them both. They're here. <laughs> Suki. Suki. Oh, Hi, baby is. girl. Suki. Suki Speak. the darkness. But Lily is too, actually. You're both. Jesus. Speak. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I can, She's like, a dark I little girl. I haven't seen her eyes. I can't see her eyes. Literally she has picture. them. You just you have to like really look for them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, same Even with like her. Look, person. you can't see her fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You so look. even like in person with Lily, she's like maybe five Ooh. feet from me, and you can't even see where her eye sockets are. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you killed her. <laughs> can't really see her right there, can you? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, this topic in general, I feel like, I feel like I really, ha we, we need to have strong female representation on this show even. And Kat has definitely been that. And now Subly, I think, I mean, if you'll have us, if you'll have me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But she's, uh, she signed up for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Yes. You're bone now. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah you're stuck with me now. Yeah. You're downhill from like, there. Oh, oh, you're gonna wake up five years later and be like, "Fuck happened for five years." I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> Dude, the other day I was thinking too. I was like, I've been on this podcast for so long. It's been a while. It's like been a while. so long. <laughs> yeah. It. I don't even. It's still going. Six or seven years for you, I think, Kat. So probably at seven. At least, yeah, it's been seven because she yes. and I have been together seven. And I the, think I started the podcast around the time we started going out. When I get the Facebook notifications, this was seven years wait, ago. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, so, so what? You and Andrew started dating when this started? Like around the same time. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. That's that means we had to keep it going or else they're going to get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Right when the podcast ends, we end. So <laughs> we gotta keep this alive, Sal. <laughs> Sal is my mistress. We're gonna way. have to stay together for the children. 
Sal, Sal actually raised this, helped raise this fool back here, monkey, and his sister, because we all used to live together um, when we first got them. We were on a commune, shaved each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. But yeah, uh, we believe in strong female representation because it exists in real life. I feel it exists in real life, and it's just not given. It's not given the same. Um, press it's not given the same attention um and it really needs to be that's i mean I i'm not trying there. to be woke I mean, look how diverse the the oscars is this year <laughs> that, dude, of, the, uh, i don't think I've, i don't think i've watched any any anything oscar related this year yeah well but like um the grammys is, and stuff are, are starting to become more diverse more um more women yeah. directors are getting more opportunities even people of color but i mean it's, they're dragging their fucking feet dude we should have been already yeah, yeah. like the bed shield test now. shouldn't have had to even be a thing right mm-hmm. <laughs> like like i when i first heard that i was like what so i don't know for for those who don't know the bed bed shield test i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly S- somebody please correct me if i'm doing it wrong is in i think it was originally for movies where basically and it it can be applied to video games if a woman a woman has to talk to another woman or female has to talk to another female and not be talking about a male to pass the bed shield test so like there has to be a conversation in that movie or video game where it's a female talking to a female about something that is not a male not necessarily another you know, female, but it had to not be. I mean, I don't know if it. If it, it am I crazy? Did I do something really wrong right now? Does nobody know what I'm talking about? I have no idea I, what that no, is. No, I have no idea what that is. Jesus Christ! I thought, <laughs> I'm not it's crazy. No, I promise. Are. I thought it was a scientific thing. <laughs> like, I it had, on Reddit, it, it, it's so I know it's no, real. It's a psychological thing. <laughs> it, Reddit would never lie to me. Like, <laughs> he loves me. He said he uh, did that to me. Bechdel test. I think I pronounced it incorrectly. It's right here on Wikipedia. The Bechdel test, also known as the Bechdel Wallace test, a measurement and representation of women in fiction. Fiction, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, it asks whether a work features at least two women who talk to each other about something other than a man. The requirement that the two women must be named is sometimes added. Hmm. That's a real thing. God damn it. <laughs> so, had... so they're Tap saying that if, if there is not at least <laughs> if there is not at least one conversation in the entire book, fiction. is this for book? The work in fiction, anything. Okay, so book, movie, whatever. Book, movie, um, if there game. isn't at least one conversation between two women that does not include a man, it is not, um, is not accurate of representing women. Well, no, it, in, well, in I guess, fiction. yes, if you want to it's put it It's misogynistic if, <laughs> if they're always talking about a man, is that what it's saying? Um, I guess, I don't know if it's I mean, girls far. definitely do talk about more than just men. But, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. But but if if, if something's written, um, you know, in a way where that doesn't happen, then you know it, it's what it's what people see, right? So yeah, it's mis- it's probably misogynistic. I, I guess what I'm saying is, at first I thought it seemed ridiculous, but then I realized that it's it it, it it's it's at least somewhat representative of the truth. Because yeah, because girls. Girls talk about a number of things. We definitely talk about men, but like not all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not every conversation we have. Yes, and that and that, <laughs> that too is is a ridiculous amount of sexism in if in that sense. That yeah, oh, talk about guys. Of course, they're... yeah. Cat and I talk every day, and not even every day that we'll we'll have a conversation that includes any guys. Yeah. I, I did say one time to her that I talked to her more than I talked to my own husband. <laughs> that, it didn't pass the special test. <laughs> but that was that was one thing out of the yeah. numerous things that we talk about. <laughs> Just that one day, even. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, they, they say terrible things about me behind my back. Stop. No, we don't. It's in, we, it's no. in the transcripts. <laughs> we had, um, <laughs> yesterday, we gave each other uh, tours of, of our homes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did a video call over Discord and you guys have like become remote best friends and it's like a really cool thing. Like I didn't I don't think I got that when I was growing up online, but I'm I'm jealous, I think. You just got a creepy old 40-year-old TV <laughs> stuff. <huh? laughs> so I think that wraps up the episode. <laughs> you need the, you need the, do you need the, the the Ralph Wiggums? I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah so thank you everybody for listening everybody in the u.s and in india i mean it's it's crazy It, it is i i i feel like initially maybe some people thought that we were joking I feel like no. I feel like there India was a, kicks a ass. No, 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 but I mean, like when we first mentioned that this was happening, like people thought we were joking that all of a sudden we're big in India, but it's fucking true. The numbers don't lie. So, hell <laughs> I wanna, yeah, I India! Make sure that everybody knows. Thank you to India, and and I have a, you know what? Like in my my um my my daily profession, I work remotely, and and there are I work with like I think. I would say like 75% of, of the people that I work with are Indian. <laughs> also, um, um, in because in, I'm web developer in, in IT. I, I want to give a little shout out to uh, to a Twitch user named This Is Dead Alive. Oh, fuck yeah. He, yes. Right. This Is Dead he Alive. Is, yeah, he is always in my stream, Subly stream. He's from India and he's super nice and we love having him. So and he thank is. Thank you. Presumably one of our listeners. He might be. He, he might, I think be. he might listen to, to the podcast. Hey, this is Dead Alive. We're big in your country. Why aren't you listening to us? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you listening? <laughs> but thank you, everybody, all of our listeners. We love you. And good night, you motherfucking nerds. Good night. Good night. When there's not just... Thank you so much to all the nerds that listened. You can find us at strengthengaming.com or email us at info at strcast.com. a witchy care package it was like a everything yeah. care yeah. package this necklace came with it hold on oh you is... got the necklace on got the necklace on you can't see it from this far away and it's under my hood so it's I hard used to, to take do off that with online friends but... when i was like 15 we'd all we'd send each other th- i'm pretty sure one of the dudes was a pedophile because he was like 40 something <laughs> he sent me some cool stuff he sent me some cool free stuff that was the last day my butthole felt I have a long sorted history online and that's why I'm at home in this medium.